So what do you want? What do you really want for your life? What do you want today? What do you want for the rest of the week, this year, the next 10 years? What do you want for your life? Because here's the thing. You may just be reacting to what is living by default. The only way to get what you really want is to know what you really want. And to spend time reflecting on and listening to those internal nudges that are pointing you to what it is you really want. It's only in the taking time to reflect on those things and answer questions. And here's the thing. We can take that visioning mindset around anything. If you're going into a meeting, if you're preparing for a conversation with literally anyone. What do you want it to look like? What do you want? I am such a visionary. I love spending time in the future. And in my book, The Power in the Pivot, I highlight a four-step visioning process that starts with answering the questions I've just posed, going out and going, going long-term, out where obstacles don't exist. In having the courage to dream and to document and to talk about what you see in the future. That's step one, go big picture. Step two then is like, okay, once I know that longer term view, I'm able to say, all right, well then what do I want in the short term? So if in 10 years, I want my life to feel this way, what do I need to do this year? What do I need to do today to cast a vote for that future vision? And then step three is to bring it to life to talk about it, to have a vision. Step four then is to incorporate it into your day-to-day. So every morning I start with, all right, given my long-term vision and my top three for the week, what do I want today? So bringing it down. We don't rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our habits. So having those daily habits that cast a vision for our future self is really powerful. So check out the four-step vision process in my book, The Power and the Pivot, if you don't have it, or to spend some time today, even if you don't feel like you need a resource or encouragement or a process, just spend some time thinking about that question. What do I want in different areas of my life? And see what comes up for you. Trust yourself. What a great way to take care of yourself and ultimately each other.